Okay, so let's start. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vive Mundo's webinar. My name is Karen Botero, and I will be hosting this webinar on representing Viva Mundo. Before we get started, I would like to tell you a little bit about Viva Mundo. Well, so our aim is to help students by providing essential information to start the process of studying abroad. On our website, you can find information about different destination, in, um, application details, degrees, visa information, and so on. Today, we are joined by two representatives of Elgin Community College. I would like to introduce Laura, who is the International Student Recruitment Specialist, and Natalie, the International Program Specialist at Elgin Community College. They will be talking about how to afford a US college degree. So if you have any questions, please ask on the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen and we will go back to them at the end of the presentation. Now, I would like to extend a welcome to our panelists, Laura and Natalie. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, again, my name is Laura and this is Natalie. We're from Elgin Community College and we're gonna be speaking to you today about affording a US college degree. It's something that's very important to us because community colleges are all about affordability and accessibility. So before we begin the presentation, um, again, my name is Laura Hosford Younger. I'm the International Student Recruitment Specialist at Elgin Community College. And I'm coming to you today with over seven years of experience in global education and international travel. I have a bachelor's degree from the University of South Alabama and a master's of Hispanic studies from Auburn University. Just to tell you a little bit about myself so you can get to know us better, I love playing soccer. Uh, I love reading books, hiking, doing anything with my dog who I'll apologize for in advance in case you hear him barking during the presentation. And I love learning languages. Um, and my name is Natalie Escobar, and I am the International Program Specialist at Elgin Community College. I have been with the college for eight years in the international office. I have a bachelor's of social work from the University of Iowa, as well as a certificate in American Indian Native American studies. And then my hobbies include running, reading, and I'm a mom of five, so they keep me kind of busy. So to give you guys an overview of education in the United States, there are about a million international students studying in the United States. The US is still a very popular destination for study abroad due to the quality education and the flexibility of higher education in the US. So I imagine that our system of education is very similar in the sense that we begin with what we call elementary school or primary school, which is usually grades one through six. And then students go on to what we call high school or secondary school, which is usually grades seven through about 12. But after students graduate from high school, they have a couple of different options. So you can go to a four-year university, for example, for a bachelor's degree. Or many students will opt to go to a community college or junior college to complete the first two years of their bachelor's degree or a two-year associate's degree. So you might be wondering what exactly is a community college then? Um, a community college offers the first two years of a bachelor's degree or a two-year associate's degree. 
Um, community colleges also offer career technical programs or certificate programs, as well as non-credit community uh, programming. And many students will choose to go to a community college to complete a two-year associate's degree and then transfer that degree to a four-year university. The associate's degree, including the first two years of their bachelor's degree, and then going on to uh, transfer to a four-year university to complete the third and fourth year. Other students will complete a certificate, and that prepares them for immediate employment um, after graduation. So why would students choose a community college? There's three primary reasons. Um, the first are tr two plus two transfer programs. Uh, again, meaning that you spend the first two years of your bachelor's degree at a community college and the last two years, the third and fourth year, um, at a university, thus being two plus two, two years at a community college, two years at a four-year university, and graduating with a four-year degree. Um, we're not going to talk too much about the two plus two transfer programs today um, because we do have a separate presentation on that on October 27th. So I encourage you guys to all tune back in on October 27th for that presentation on the two plus two transfer program. But today we wanna to focus on affordability and then flexibility and quality. Community colleges are much less expensive than four-year universities. I'll, we'll take a look at some tuition comparisons um, later on. But like four-year universities, community colleges offer, also offer scholarships. So by attending a community college for the first two years of your bachelor's degree, you can save time and money. You will still get a quality education at a community college. We have quality academic programs and many of our professors, in fact, actually teach at four-year universities. So you can literally, in some ways, get the same education for a lower price. Community colleges also have smaller class sizes. And the ability to transfer to four-year universities offers a lot of flexibility with your program of study, unless you want to do uh, employment after graduation as well. So community colleges, the goal of community colleges and at ECC, our goal is to make higher education affordable and accessible. So when we're comparing the tuition, the two annual tuition at Elgin Community College is approximately $9,510 per year. If we compare that, for example, to my alma mater, uh, Auburn University, which is a public four-year university, the annual tuition for international students there is $32,220. Again, this is all per year. Many of our students will choose to transfer to the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Again, also a public four-year university. Their annual tuition for international students is $39,500. Even more expensive if you choose to go to a private university, using Boston University as an example, their annual tuition for international students is $57,000. So you can see the price difference from a community college for a year, a public four-year university for a year, or a private university for a year. And it really does make a difference. The average savings, for attending a community college for the first two years of your bachelor's degree could save you over $50,000. And that's just an average for the first two years at a public four-year university. If you were to attend a private university, you would save even more money. So it really can make a big difference in the first two years of your bachelor's degree. ECC is a public institution we receive federal funding, which is one of the reasons why our tuition is very affordable. We are one of the top 150 community colleges and our campus has about 10,000 students. Our faculty to student ratio being 20 to one, which means that our average class size is between 15 and 20 students. We are a fully accredited college. Uh, we were founded in 1949. The school has been recently renovated, so it has a very modern looking campus. And with over 130 degree and certificate programs, 
you can pursue almost any program of study at a community college. With the two plus two university transfer partnerships, you can transfer to top institutions around the United States, offering you flexibility in your education. So you can see that a community college really can offer a quality education. Additionally, Elgin Community College is also a Hispanic serving institution. Community colleges also offer a wide range of studies. We have our university transfer programs, the two plus two programs that I mentioned, but also several associate degrees, associate in arts, engineering, liberal studies, uh, science, all of these degrees essentially make up the first two years of your bachelor's degree and then can be used to transfer to a university. In addition to the associate's degrees, um, we also offer certificate programs for students wishing to go immediately into employment into the workforce. And for anyone wanting to improve their English, we have a nationally recognized intensive English program. Many students will go into the program temporarily to improve their English before they begin their degree. Under these programs of study, we also have a wide variety of majors. Um, these are just a few of the popular majors, accounting, business, computer science, education, psychology, and the list goes on. On the career tech side, uh, it's very popular, especially amongst international students, to study culinary arts and hospitality. Cybersecurity is actually a new certificate that we're offering this year, as well as digital forensics. Health professions is very popular, and certificates like HVAC and welding help students uh, seek employment immediately upon graduation. Now I'm going to turn it over to Natalie to talk a little about the intensive English program. Thank you, Laura. So we do have a, a nationally recognized intensive English program. The, we are able to accommodate any level of English language skills. So even if you can only say hello or goodbye, um, we can accommodate you. We don't require a TOEFL or an IELTS. Our intensive English program, we have a, it follows a highly effective and innovative focal skills approach. So the skills are able to build on one another. There's four different levels. There's listening, reading, writing, and pre-collegiate. Uh, pre-collegiate is what we call our bridge or pathway program. So our students are getting prepared to enroll in credit level classes. And then in addition to that, we also offer several different electives in order for the students to have a full course of study. One of the great things that I love about the intensive English program is that you are reassessed every four weeks. So you may start at listening or reading, and then four weeks later, you're going to be tested again to determine if you can move to the next module or if you need a little bit more time in the current module. So you're able to move at, uh, through the program at your own pace. We also have a wonderful international student homestay program. Since we do not have dorms on campus, uh, this is a great alternative for students. They are able to live with a, <clears throat> a local American family to learn about American culture. Uh, meals and transportation are provided. Students are offered a private or a shared room and it has specific amenities such as a bed, dresser, desk, um, adequate lighting, and then also a place to store your belongings. The family will uh, participate in different social events and activities. In the past, our hosts have taken our students on vacation to like Mall of America, and then they've also taken them on various um, college visits as well, which I think is very important. Each of our hosts is vetted through an extensive background check each year to make sure that it's gonna be a safe environment for you to live in. And then the cost for the program is between six and eight hundred dollars per month, depending on whether or not you would like transportation to be included. 
So what is ECC really like? We're going to show you guys just a quick video, uh, some student testimonials of students speaking about their experience at Elgin Community College. Laura, we can't. Yeah, you're it. Oh, I apologize. What I like most about ECC is the community. It has become my second shot at um, college. Just a nice environment, you know, a nice school, nice teachers, nice people. I feel like I'm going to be more successful because of how welcoming everyone has been. I um, really like the flexibility with all of my, my classes and everything, and I really like all like the support I get from my teachers. You meet great people all around here at this campus, and the professors are great. They have years under their belt, so they know what they're doing. I feel like a lot of my friends and everyone else have issues when they're at bigger schools, but ECC kind of attends to each student individually and really focus on their needs and helps them succeed. I did all my prereqs and I got everything done and completed and I don't have like stress about transferring. So I feel like super confident when I go to like the school I want to go to that I have everything in order. I am very proud of my education here. ECC has taken me uh, into better places and it's helped me a lot, not just, you know, academically, but in my own personal life. So you can see you really can get a great education for an affordable price. To break down the costs, we mentioned earlier, we talked a little bit about the tuition and comparing tuition to different schools. So now we're going to break down the total cost a little bit more using Elgin Community College as an example. I mentioned earlier our tuition is approximately $9,510 per year. That is full time. It's based off uh, 12 credit hours. Um, our tuition, if you break it down by credit hour, is $396 per credit hour, roughly. Um, book supplies insurance run roughly around uh, $1,500. And then living expenses are estimated at approximately $8,550. So you can see the total cost for one year is approximately $19,650. If I were to take you back to the slides previously with the tuition, you would see that the total cost of one year at Elgin Community College is still less than just the tuition at Auburn University or the University of Illinois that I showed you previously. Additionally, um, we do offer scholarships. They are limited and competitive. These are um, partial scholarships, which we can talk about a little bit later as well. If you are interested in applying to Elgin Community College, we do encourage you to apply by our priority deadlines, although we do accept admission on a rolling basis throughout the year. So for the upcoming January semester, that would be December 15th, and then for the summer semester, that would be April 1st. You can see here um, a list of the requirements for applying. Um, we do have an easy and fast application process. Um, you can fill out the application online. You can see the link there, elgin.edu slash F1 apply. We also have a PDF uh, application, which is available through BMI. In addition to the application, students will need to sign the International Student Financial Agreement. We do have a non-refundable $50 processing fee. And then the evidence of financial support is showing that amount I showed you on the previous page, which is the expenses for one year. If you have any family members or a third party contributing financially to your education, they will need to sign an affidavit of sponsorship. You will need to also submit your high school or secondary school uh, transcripts, as well as a photocopy of your passport. And if you're transferring from another U.S. college or university, our transfer release form. TOEFL and proof of English proficiency is not required. It is recommended if students do not submit a form of proof of English proficiency, we administer a placement test upon arrival. So TOEFL scores, IELTS scores are not required as part of the application. If you have any other experience, though, at another um, college or university, 
We also ask that you submit the transcripts for that ed uh, educational experience as well so that you can get credit for it. And remind you that all applicants must be at least 17 years old. I hope that this presentation has been helpful for you guys seeing the benefits um, of a community college. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in our next presentation on October 20th. I'll be presenting with Lauren Nielsen, our Director of International Education. And then on October 27th, um, we'll be exploring two plus two pathways and transfer programs. I'll be presenting then with Sean Jensen, our Director of Transfer Services. So hopefully you've been able to see today how attending a community college could save you a lot of money, making that bachelor's degree in the US much more affordable. At this time, we would like to open it up for questions. I believe we have some questions that were written in or maybe some in the chat box. So we'd like to answer any questions that you have at this time. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Laurie and Natalie for your presentation. Now we'll start with the Q&A section. Uh, so one question that we have to start off is, um, what opportunities are there to work while studying? So students, students that um, are in the associate level, they do have the opportunity to work on campus. And on-campus employment is competitive, but you are able to work up to 20 hours per week. And then once you complete your degree with us, then you can qualify for what's called OPT, Optional Practical Training. And one of the wonderful things about starting at a community college is you qualify for an additional year of OPT because you'll have one once you complete your associate's degree, and then you'll have another opportunity when you complete your bachelor's degree. Students that start Direct or go directly to a university for their bachelor's degree, they forfeit that first year of OPT after the associate's degree level. Thank you, Natalie, for your answer. And we have another question that says, um, do you have internship programs at ECC? Yes. Uh, we do have um, internships and we have an office that will assist students with locating internships as well. Perfect, thank you. We have another question that says, what is the impact of COVID-19 on your international students? It's, it is safe to travel due to the situation? Absolutely. So like many schools, um, we've had to make modifications due to COVID. Um, we have moved to more of our classes being offered uh, online or in a hybrid um, format. Um, the hybrid format um, could have a face-to-face -face component or a, a synchronous live streaming component to the class. Um, it has offered a little bit more flexibility actually for international students because we do have many students who are taking classes online from their home country. Um, during the fall semester before traveling to the United States in January um, to start the next semester. But we do have many students still traveling, yes. Thank you. Um, finally, we have a question that says, does the college offer financial aid? Um, students on an F-1 visa do not qualify for financial aid, but, you do, but they do qualify for scholarships. And at uh, ECC, we have our foundation scholarships, which I believe that there's over 200 scholarships available through the foundation for students. These are partial scholarships. They're merit-based. And I'm actually putting the link um, for more information about our scholarships and how to apply in the chat right now. OK, thank you. So I think that will be the end of our webinar. Thank you very much, Laura and Natalie, for your brilliant presentation. And finally, thank you to our attendees and to the people on our Facebook Live uh, watching us. Thank you for listening, and we hope you have a good day. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.